Today we will crochet this cardigan vest. The colorful yarn and the flowers make the vest look so cheerful. This cardigan vest can be made in sizes small to 5XL. The pattern is explained in detail in this step-by-step -step beginner friendly tutorial. The written pattern has been linked below along with the timestamps so you can skip ahead to whatever row you want. Hello and welcome to Let's All Crochet. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy this pattern. For this project, we are going to need 2 to 4 skeins or about 400 to 800 grams of any medium weight yarn. So I am using Ice Yarns. It's called Cakes Aran and it has 200 grams in each skein. That is 360 meters of yarn. It is 100% acrylic yarn and the shade is 56545. Five, we are also going to need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook or an eye size hook. We will need scissors, a tapestry needle and stitch markers. Now let's begin. So this is a schematic of our vest. We are going to make two front panels and one large back panel. So when we place both the front panels on the back panel, we are going to have a small gap in the center. We will make a border here. So we will do that last. Let's begin with the first front panel. So we are going to begin by chaining this bottom part like this and then continue with the rows till we reach the top. After we make the first front panel, we will make another one exactly the same. Once we have these two, we will start with the back and we are going to chain the bottom here like this again. So I will give you the counts later. First we will make the front panel. So this vest can be made from small to size 5x. I'm going to put all the sizes on the screen and the number you need to chain. I'm going to chain 47. Make a slip knot however you want. I'm going to take this tail end and loop it over the working end. Then take the tail end and go below this loop to form a pretzel shape. I'm going to catch the second loop in my crochet hook carefully and pull it out. So this is the slip knot. I'm going to tug on the smaller end to tighten it. Now we will chain. I'm going to chain 47. You will chain according to the size you want. To chain, we are going to yarn over first and then pull through the loop. Yarn over and then pull through. This is our third chain. This is our fourth chain. So continue making the chains till you have the number you want and I will meet you there. So I've reached the end of my chain. We are going to count the V's and confirm we have the number we want. Then we will begin row 1. Double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. The loop on the hook is not a chain. Skip the 1st chain, skip the 2nd chain and skip this 3rd chain. Into the 4th chain we are going to make a double crochet. So yarn over first. Insert your hook into the top loop of the V. Yarn over and pull through. So now we have three loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through two loops first. We have two loops left. We are going to yarn over and pull through the last two. So the yarn that I am using, the strands tend to split a little but I like the colors. Let's go to the next chain. So we have worked in this chain. We are going to make a double crochet in the next chain. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the top loop. Yarn over and then pull through. We have three loops. We are going to yarn over again and pull through two loops. We have two loops. We are going to yarn over and pull through the two loops on the hook. Now in the same way, we are going to make a double crochet in this next chain as well. So continue making a double crochet in all the chains till the end of the row. I am going to meet you once you finish this row. Make sure you don't miss any chains. I have reached the end of row 1. Made a double crochet in the last chain. Now we are going to count our double crochet. We are going to have our chain minus 2. So I have 47 minus 2 which is 45 double crochet. This first chain 3 that we skipped is going to count as a double crochet. Let us go to row 2, chain 2. 
So yarn over and pull through once and twice. And now we are going to turn our work. This chain 2 is going to count as the first double crochet of this row. The loop on the hook is not a stitch. This is a chain 2 stitch which is the first double crochet of this row. So we are not going to work into this first double crochet. We are going to go to this next double crochet and make a double crochet in this stitch. So we are going to yarn over first. We will not work into this first double crochet. We are going to go into the second double crochet. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through two. We have two loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through the last two. We are going to make a double crochet in this next V as well or this next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Now we are going to begin a repeat pattern. We are going to chain four first. So yarn over and pull through one. 2, 3 and 4. So after we make 4 chains, we are going to skip 5 double crochet. So we have worked in this double crochet, you can see, and we are going to skip the next 5. So skip, 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 skip and skip. And in this next double crochet, we are going to make a V stitch. So let's do it together. So we want to make sure that we have skipped 5 double crochet. Then we are going to yarn over and insert our hook into this next stitch. So go below both the loops of the V. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through. We have three loops. We are going to yarn over and pull through two. We have two. We are going to yarn over and pull through both. So we have made one double crochet. Now we are going to chain one. So yarn over and then pull through. Now we are going to go back to the same stitch and make another double crochet. So yarn over and in the same stitch insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So we have made a V stitch. So now we are going to chain four again. One, two, three and four. Now we are going to skip the next five double crochet. So we have worked in this double crochet, skip 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And in this next double crochet, we are going to make a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into this double crochet, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. So we have made a double crochet. In the next stitch as well, we are going to make a double crochet. And in this next stitch as well, we are going to make a double crochet. For the rest of the row, we are just going to repeat this pattern. So chain 4 first. 1, I'm sorry, 2, 3 and 4. Now we are going to skip 5 double crochet. So skip 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And in this next double crochet, we are going to make a V stitch. So yarn over first, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. So after making the double crochet, we are going to chain 1 and go back to the same stitch and make another double crochet. Chain 4 next. 1, 2, 3 and 4. After that, we are going to skip 5 stitches. So we have worked here. Skip 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And in this next stitch, we are going to make a double crochet. So yarn over, make a double crochet. In the next stitch as well, Make a double crochet. And in this next stitch, 
We are going to make one more double crochet. So we are going to continue repeating this pattern till the end of the row. We are going to chain 4, skip 5 double crochet, make a V in the next stitch, then chain 4 again, skip the next 5 double crochet and make 1 double crochet in the next 3 stitches. So continue till the end of the row and I will meet you there. So I have reached the end of row 2 and in my very last repeat, I have made 2 double crochet and I have 1 chain 3 left. So in the third chain of this chain 3, we are going to make our last double crochet. So this is our first chain of the chain 3. This is our second chain and this is the third chain. So in this chain, we are going to make our last double crochet. So we are going to yarn over into the third chain, insert our hook. So make sure you go into the third chain. Then yarn over and pull through and complete your double crochet. So from now on, we can just see that the pattern matches. We don't need to count the stitches in every rows. Let's go to row 3. Begin row 3 with a chain 2, 1 and 2. This is going to count as our first double crochet. Let's turn our work. So we are not going to work into this first double crochet. We are going to make a double crochet in the second double crochet and third double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the second double crochet and make a double crochet. Go to the third double crochet, insert your hook and make a double crochet. Now we are going to begin a repeat pattern. So chain 6 first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So once we chain 6, we are going to jump to this V and find the gap in the V or the chain 1 space. Insert your hook into this chain 1 space in the center of the V like this. Yarn over and then pull through. We have two loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over again and pull through both. So we have made a single crochet in this chain 1 space. Now we are going to chain 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So once we chain 6, we are going to jump to these 3 double crochet. We are going to make 1 double crochet in each of these 3 double crochet. So after our chain 6, we are just going to skip over all these spaces and jump to this double crochet. Make a double crochet in it. So yarn over, insert your hook below both the loops of the V. And make a double crochet. Yarn over, go to the next double crochet. Make a double crochet. Yarn over, go to this next double crochet and make a double crochet. So now we are just going to continue repeating this pattern. Chain 6 first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We are going to skip over this gap here, jump to the V. In the chain 1 space, make a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. We have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through both. Going to chain 6 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So after you work, a single crochet, make a chain 6, jump to these three double crochet and we are going to make one double crochet in each of these. I need my first double crochet, jump to the second, make a double crochet and into the last, make a double crochet. So now we are just going to continue repeating this pattern. We are going to chain 6, make a single crochet in the chain 1 space, chain 6 again 
and make one double crochet in each of the next three double crochet. Continue this pattern till the end of the row and I will meet you there. So I've reached the end of the row and this is my last repeat. I made one double crochet in this double crochet, made one double crochet in this double crochet and this is my chain 2. Now remember this counts as a double crochet. So in the second chain of the chain 2, we are going to make a double crochet. This is my first chain. This is my second chain. So here we are going to make a double crochet. So yarn over. Make sure you go through the second loop. Then we are going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. And this is the end of row 3. So we don't really need to count our stitches. We will just check that the pattern matches. Let's go to row 4. Chain 2. 1 and 2. This is going to count as a double crochet. So now we are going to turn our work. So the loop on the hook is not a stitch. This is our chain 2 stitch. This is our first double crochet. We are not going to work into this. We are going to make a double crochet in the next double crochet and the next double crochet. So let's do it together. We are going to yarn over, go to the second double crochet, make a double crochet in it. Yarn over, go to this third double crochet, make a double crochet in it. So after this, we will begin a repeat pattern for row 4. So now in this large gap by the chain 6 that we made, we are going to make 4 double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the gap, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. So this is our first double crochet. In the same way, we are going to make 3 more in this gap. Yarn over, insert your hook. This is our second double crochet. So this is our third double crochet. So if you want, you can just hold the bottom here to stabilize the stitch to complete it. So you can see I have made 4 double crochet in all in this chain 6 space. Now we are going to make 3 chains. So 1, 2 and 3. After this 3 chains we are going to jump to this next chain 6 space and make 4 double crochet in this space as well. So yarn over, insert your hook into the space. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. Yarn over, go back to the space. So this is my second double crochet. Yarn over, go back to the space. This is my third double crochet. Yarn over, go back to the space. This is my last and fourth double crochet. So I'll just hold the bottom to stabilize the stitch. So after these 4 double crochet in this large gap, we are going to jump to these 3 double crochet that we have made here and make 1 double crochet in each. So make 1 double crochet in the first one, 1 double crochet in this next one and 1 double crochet in this third one. And now we are going to continue repeating this pattern. So let's do it together. In this first space, we are going to make 4 double crochet. 1. Go back to the same space. 2. Yarn over, go back. 3. And 4. And now we are going to chain 3 next. So chain 3, 1, 2, 3. So now we are just going to jump over the single crochet and come to this next space where we are going to make 4 double crochet again. 1, sorry, 2, and 4. 
So once we finish our four double crochet in this space, we are going to jump to these three double crochet and make one double crochet each in them. So in this very first double crochet, make a double crochet. In the next double crochet, make a double crochet. And in the next double crochet, make a double crochet. Continue repeating this pattern till the end of the row and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of the row. In my last repeat, I have one double crochet left. So in the second chain, I am going to make my very last double crochet. So make sure you go into the second chain of the chain 2. And this is the end of row 4. We are just going to match our pattern. Row 5, we are going to chain 2, 1 and 2 and turn our work. This chain 2 counts as the first double crochet of the row. We are not going to work into this first stitch. In this next double crochet, make a double crochet. And in this next double crochet, make a double crochet. So we know the loop on the hook is not a stitch. This is our chain 2, our first double crochet. Don't work in this stitch. In the second double crochet, we are going to make a double crochet. Now we are going to the third stitch. And making a double crochet in it as well. Now let's begin the repeat pattern for this row. So in these four double crochet that we made in the large space, we're going to make one double crochet each. So yarn over, go to this first double crochet, make a double crochet. Go to the second one, make another double crochet. Into the third double crochet and into the last fourth make a double crochet. So now we have reached this chain 3 space. In this space we are going to make 3 double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into this gap, make 1 double crochet, yarn over, go back, 2 Yarn over, go back to the space and this is our third double crochet in it. So now we have reached the next four double crochet in this large gap. So in each of these four double crochet, we will make a double crochet. We are going to do it together. Into the first, make a double crochet. Into the next. Into the third. And into the fourth. So now you have noticed we have reached these three double crochet. As always, we are going to make one double crochet each in all the three. One, two, and three. We are going to continue repeating this pattern till the end of the row. In each of these four double crochet, we are going to make one double crochet each. In this chain 3 space, we are going to make 3 double crochet. In the next 4 double crochet, make 1 double crochet each. Then we will reach these 3 double crochet. In each of these, we are going to make 1 double crochet. So continue till the end of the row and I will meet you there. So I have reached the end of row 5. We know there are 3 double crochet last. So I have made a double crochet in this third last double crochet. Made a double crochet in the second last double crochet. And now we have the chain 2. So in the second chain of the chain 2, we are going to make our last double crochet. So this is the end of row 5. If we count all our double crochet, they are going to be the same as row 1. So this is what my work looks like right now. So now we are just going to continue repeating row 2, 3, 4 and 5 for pattern. First row 2, then 3, then 4 and then 5. So we are going to continue repeating these rows till we have this entire height of the vest from our neck till however long we want our vest to be. So I will meet you once we finish. So once we finish the entire front panel, we are going to leave about 22 to 25 inches of the yarn and cut it. We are going to use this to close at the shoulders. Once we cut, we are going to tuck on the crochet hook. So we are going to pull out a loop. So I have finished making one front panel as you can see in the image. I have repeated row 2 to 5 till I have about 21 to 22 inches in all. 
So you can repeat row 2 to 5 as many times as you want. Once you finish, you're going to make one more front panel exactly identical to the first. So make sure that the chains and the height is the same. I will meet you once you finish. So once we finish both our front panels, we are going to go to the back panel. Small tip for the front panels, select two identical skeins of yarn. So this will result in two somewhat identical front panels like mine. So for the back panel, we are going to begin with a different number of chains. I am going to leave the sizes on the screen with the number of chains. I am going to begin with 103 chains. So make a slip knot first. Now you can do this however you want. Once you make the slip knot, you are going to begin chaining in the same way as before. So I will meet you once you finish the number of chains for your size. I have finished my chains. Count your chains and confirm that you have the right number. I have 103. The rows in the back panel are exactly like the front. So row 1, we are going to begin with a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and double crochet in the rest of the chains. Then we are going to make row 2, 3, 4 and 5 exactly like the front. Repeat row 2 to 5 the same number of times as both the front panels so that the height of the back and the front panels is equal. So in the written pattern below, I have left all the measurements, chains and stitch counts. Hey guys, if you are enjoying this pattern, I will be very grateful if you can like this video so it can reach more people. Now let's continue. So now we have both our front panels and our back panel and we are going to move on to joining at the shoulders and the sides. When you place the panel down and the slip knot is at the bottom left, this is the right side of your panel. So when we wear a summer vest or cardigan, the right side of both the front panels is going to face up like this. Once we open it, all the wrong sides will face us. So the wrong side of the front, of the back and of the front. The right side of the back panel faces outside like this. We are going to sew on the wrong side or the inside of our vest so that the seams don't show. We are going to close the shoulders first. So open the front panels like this and we are going to close on the top here and on the top here. So on the wrong side of both the back and the front panels. Once we finish attaching the shoulders, we are going to close the sides. We to join the sides here after leaving a gap for the armhole. So open the front panels first like this and like this. Now this is a very rough representation. We are going to leave a gap for the armhole on top here and on top here. So make sure you leave exactly the same amount. I'll leave the sizes on the screen. You can also decide on your own how big you want your armhole. So once we mark a stitch marker on both the sides, we are going to begin sewing from the bottom till the stitch marker here and from the bottom till the stitch marker here. So now we have attached both our sides. Placed all my panels ready to close the shoulders at the top here and at the top here. Now we want to place these exactly against one and other. This is the wrong side of my front panel. This is the right side. This is the right side of my back panel. And this is the right side of my other front panel. This is the wrong side. We are closing the shoulders on the wrong side. So I am going to close the shoulder first. Make sure you place the panels exactly against one another so that all the stitches match. You can use any stitch you want to attach both the panels. Place them against each other exactly. And now I am going to use the whip stitch. So insert a needle into the first stitch on the first side. Now go to the other side. Find your first stitch. Insert your needle into the first stitch. Now tap on the needle. Now we are going to the second stitch. Insert your needle below both the loops of the weave of the second stitch on this side and then the other side. Tug on the needle. So this loop will lie on the top. We are going to come back to the first side, go into the third stitch on the first side, the third stitch on the second side like this. Tug on the needle. Into the next stitch and into the next stitch. So we are going to continue doing this Till we reach this end here, I will meet you once we finish. So I've finished closing, starting from here till here. So I've finished closing, 
the entire side and reach this end. At this point, I am just going to go one extra time from the first side to the second side before I weave the yarn in. To weave the yarn in, we will take the needle and just go 3 to 4 times in the opposite direction with it. So I am trying to go into the red yarn. We will keep doing this till we are sure the yarn is firmly weaved in. Then take a scissor and then cut the yarn tail off. So I will meet you once you finish. So I have finished closing the first shoulder now and we are going to go to the second shoulder. If you have left a piece of yarn, you are going to have to count your stitches so that you leave the same number of stitches on the back panel and start closing from here till this end. If you have not left a piece of yarn, you are just going to take a 25 inch piece of yarn and exactly like the first shoulder, start closing on this side till you reach this end. Both the sides should be placed exactly against one another. I will meet you once you finish. So once we finish closing the second shoulder, we are going to weave the yarn end in just like the first side. Weave in any remaining yarns. Let's move on to closing the sides. So we are going to add the stitch markers first before we begin closing the sides. So what I have done is I have folded the sides and placed my vest like this. And now I'm going to add the stitch marker here. Decide what size you want your armhole. Take your measuring tape, measure from the shoulder and then mark your stitch marker. You're going to take about a 40 inch piece of yarn. Begin closing at the bottom here till we reach the stitch marker here. On the top here is going to be a armhole. On the wrong side, this is the wrong side of my front panel. This is the right side of my front and back panel and this is the wrong side again. We are going to begin closing at the bottom end and close till the stitch marker. So this is our armhole here and our shoulder is on the top here. So I am going to take a long piece of yarn, insert it into the bottom stitch on the first side and then the bottom stitch on the second side. Tug on the needle. We will leave a small tail. If you want, you can tie a small knot. Later, we will weave the tail end in. Make sure the sides of both the panels are placed exactly against one another. Now we are just going to sew using any stitch we want in the same way till we reach the stitch marker here. So I am going to go into the first side and then the second side. Tug on the needle. Come back to the first side. Insert your needle. Insert your needle on the second side and so on. I will meet you once we reach the stitch marker. I have reached the stitch marker now. I have gone one extra time from the first side to the second side. And now we will just weave this yarn tail in. So I will meet you once we finish. In the same way as the first side, we are going to take a long piece of yarn and close the second side as well. Start closing from the bottom here till the stitch marker. On the top here is the armhole and here is the shoulder. So I will meet you once we finish closing this side. So we are going to attach the yarn at the seam here. Then we are going to crochet in this direction. Then crochet the border upwards. Go across the back. Then come to the front panel. Go down like this. Go across here. Then go to the bottom of the back panel. And come back to the point where we started. So on the front panel we will go like this. Go up. Then the back panel. Then the front panel again across like this and finally the back panel till we reach the start again. So let's do it together. Now we are going to work the border on the right side. So turn your vest inside out so that the right side faces up and then we will begin working the border. So I am going to attach the yarn at the seam here between the front and the back panel. This is my last double crochet of the front panel. This is my back panel. Into this last double crochet I am going to insert my hook into the bottom chain. Now catch the yarn in a loop form on the hook. Pull it through. Now we are going to chain 3. 1, 2 and th 3. This will count as our first double crochet. Now we are going to make a double crochet in this next double crochet in the chain below it. So we are going to find a small gap right below the double crochet and in this gap 
we are going to make a stitch. So this is where we are going to work a double crochet. So we are going to work into two loops of the chain here. Let's do it together. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So we are going to go to the next double crochet. Insert our hook. Find the next double crochet in the bottom. We are going to find the gap. So in the same way, continue making double crochet till you reach the corner. I will meet you there. So I started from this end and now I have reached the corner stitch here. So next I have a chain 3 stitch which is my corner stitch. So I made a double crochet in the chain just below the second last double crochet. In the first chain here that we see, we are going to make 5 double crochet to make the corner stitch. So into this chain make 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And now we are going to turn our work. So keep making double crochet along this side till we reach the top of the front panel and I will meet you there. So you can distribute the double crochet as you want. Try and be as neat as possible. I am making two double crochets at the side of every row. So at the side of this next row, I am going to make two double crochet. At the side of this next row, two double crochet and so on. I have reached the shoulder seam now. So this is my front panel and this is my back panel. This is my seam. So in this last stitch, I am going to make one double crochet. And now I am going to jump to the back panel. I am going to make a double crochet in this first stitch. So in the back panel, we have stitches where we can work the double crochets exactly. So I will meet you once we reach the next seam. To reach the next seam, I am going to double crochet in the last stitch of the back panel. Then I am going to go to the front panel and make a double crochet. Now continue making double crochets. I am going to make two at the side of every row of the front panel. I will meet you once we reach the bottom of the front panel. So I have reached the bottom of the front and this is the corner stitch. So I am going to make five double crochet in the same stitch in this corner stitch. One, go back to the same stitch. Two, yarn over, go back to the same stitch. Three, four and five. So now we are just going to continue making one double crochet in the bottom chain. So in every chain or at the bottom of every double crochet, we are going to make one double crochet all around till we reach where we started. So I finished my double crochet border and reached the end of the round where I started. This is my first double crochet. And this is my chain 2 stitch. My chain 1 is hidden below. So we are going to join by a slip stitch to the second chain of the chain 2. Just insert your hook into the second chain. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Leave about 4 to 5 inches. Cut the yarn. Once we cut the yarn, we are going to pull out a loop by tugging on the hook. Now we are going to weave this yarn in. We will make a border for the armholes now. This is where we are going to attach the yarn, so at the seam where the sides meet. Here on the top is the shoulder seam. So at this seam on the right side we are going to attach the yarn to begin the sleeves. To attach the yarn in the same way, into the corner stitch, insert your hook, catch the yarn in a loop form, pull it through. Now we are going to chain 2. So 1 and 2. And this is our first double crochet. Now we are going to double crochet around. So we are going to make two double crochets at the side of every row or whatever you are comfortable with. So I will meet you once we finish this round. So I have reached the end of the round, double crochet all around. Now we are going to join by a slip stitch to the second chain of the chain 2. So insert your hook into the second chain, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Now leave 4 to 5 inches and cut the yarn, I have already cut it. 
Then you are going to tuck on the crochet hook, weave this yarn end in. In exactly the same way as the first armhole, we are going to make a border for the second armhole as well. Make sure you make the same number of double crochet so the armholes remain even. So I will meet you once you finish. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments below. I reply to all the comments. Here are some videos you may enjoy. See you next time.